Okay, I don't know about you, but that's one heck of a billboard, right? Right, for the same price, someone drives by your billboard at 65 miles an hour, it doesn't even you know, hit their subconscious, they can have something like that, right? That, what an experience, and what's really, really amazing is, as Scott was saying, is when you know, thousands of people go through these venues, what do they see? They see you, right? When they're posting the video of their son scoring the touchdown, what are they doing? They're using your connection, right? By the way, almost all those videos came off of social media from the games that were played in those towns, right? And that's what people want to do. So our goal is to help all of you not just deliver a differentiated service, but do it in a way that has that kind of impact on your community and your business. But there's another thing that really struck me about what Scott shared, and, and that's his belief, right? The view out your window should not determine the quality of your internet experience, right? And if you were here last year, you heard Bob Hans from MEC share something really similar about their mission. And by the way, I've been fortunate enough over the last seven years to see hundreds of mission statements like this. When I visit with your teams, this is what you live. And our goal is uh, we want to work with every single one of you, just like we did with Scott and team, to help bring these technologies to bear in your communities to create that kind of impact. You know, there's another thing that's really interesting about this. So cash flow positive in two years. So how do you do all that and achieve those kinds of results? Well, that's what the platform's for. Interestingly, when Tom Bigby deployed Operations Cloud, they reduced mean time to repair by 75%, right? They use all of the clouds to drive productivity across our team. And what I'm really excited about is that platform is gonna continue to evolve. I'll start with Operations Cloud. We have hundreds of customers who are using Operations Cloud to achieve results like this. So I'll talk about Cumberland Connect, right? They were an innovation award winner. Why? Because when a storm hit their communities and knocked power out for 60,000 customers, they were able to use Operations Cloud to pinpoint the locations that were failing in the network that needed to get addressed immediately and also communicate efficiently to their teams. And you know, it's, it's funny because some people think, oh, net promoter score, like that's a marketing thing. Well, think about it. If your network is not reliable and it's not working, who cares what you're doing with it, right? In fact, your operations teams are probably the most important part of your organization to produce results like that. So congratulations to Cumberland Connect. So in the next year, we're gonna roll out some real significant innovations on operations cloud. The first thing that we're gonna be able to do is help you migrate customers from legacy networks to your next generation networks that you're building on the intelligent access edge. Migrating subscribers, well, that can be a real hassle, but now with Operations Cloud, we're gonna automate that step for you so your legacy customers on your old networks can take advantage of the power of the intelligent access edge. We're also gonna enable provisioning of layer two and layer three MPLS VPNs. What's that gonna allow you to do? Well, you all have SLAs for your business customers, and now you can manage them in Operations Cloud. And then the webhook capability that we launched earlier this year, we're gonna extend that into additional partner solutions. So if you wanna understand the power of that, go to the Innovation Showcase, go talk to the team from GLDS. They are enabling incredible integration with that solution, and we're gonna take it further. We're gonna go into things like geomapping, so you can actually use Operations Cloud not just to manage your network, but to help drive planning. Very exciting. Next up is Marketing Cloud. We have hundreds of customers using Marketing Cloud to drive results like this. And I'm gonna talk about another innovation award winner, MHTC. So they made a huge transition to go from selling individual um, products to selling value bundles, right, and they launched an integrated marketing campaign, omni-channel, powered by Marketing Cloud. It included not just the usual channels, but also through the Command IQ app. 
they were able to grow 20% MPS and achieve a 90. But the other thing is they grew their managed service revenue 700%. That's the power of Marketing Cloud. So for next year, Marketing Cloud is gonna go through a very significant evolution. So significant that we're actually changing the name to Engagement Cloud. Why? Because we're going to be automating engagement to help you communicate with customers across the entire customer life cycle. Whether you're a cooperative with members, you're a for-profit organization, a key to maintaining a great relationship is to continue communicating with customers and members as they progress with you. If you were here last year, you would have heard that's actually the number one way to maintain a high net promoter score, is constantly reminding people what you're doing for them. So we're gonna have two automations next year. So the first one is a scheduled communication where you decide weekly, monthly, quarterly. You can program the system so that with Marketing Cloud, you're actually pulling all the data out and you can send that on a regular cadence to your customers. You can tell them how many viruses I blocked for you this month, what was your quality of experience score, what was your uptime, and so much more. So when you do great things for your subscribers, they'll know about it, and you don't need a huge marketing team to do it. Triggered communications, you can identify important experience drivers that you want to react to, but your team doesn't have to react to. They're hitting a service limit. They're running lots of speed tests, which people don't usually do when they're having a great experience. Those kinds of triggers, you can program the system so when someone has that experience, they get an automatic communication. Let me give you an example. So for a triggered communications, we'll, we'll take a, a really simple one, right? Like, hey, it's an anniversary date. Someone hits an anniversary date. I wanna go identify customers who I wanna get a special communication. Then you go into the electronic content builder, you get a template, you fill it out, you program it so that it'll go out through your mobile app and your mass communication vehicle of choice, and bang, when they hit their service date, they get a thank you, and here's the best part, you can even include a promotional offer. Why, because someone might not look at a promotional offer, but if you're sending them a thank you note, they're probably more likely to open it up. That kind of automation is gonna enable you to punch above your weight. It's gonna allow your teams to be incredibly efficient but it's gonna give you a deeper engagement with your subscribers. So for Support Cloud, we have hundreds and hundreds of customers who are producing results like this. Incredible results. I'm gonna talk about MPS again and Jade. Some of you may remember Jade was actually up here on stage last year, and they talked about all the work they were doing on MPS. They were actually the first customer to work with our business insight service to go do a deep dive to understand why do we have a good MPS with some, some of our customers? Why, why do we have a bad one with others? And they implemented a program that was so effective that in the last year, they've gone from 55 to, 25, to 75. Unbelievable, 20 point jump in one year. They used all of those insights that they got through that engagement, Scott talked about it, to really find out at a segment level, at a customer level, what can they do better? And they armed their Wi-Fi wizards with support call support cloud so they could go take proactive action. And they reached out, and this is what the result was. Well, for next year, support cloud's actually going through a similar profound change. And we're changing the name to service cloud. Support cloud is still gonna be a great vehicle to help your support team provide great service, but we're actually gonna open up two new channels for you to use when you're engaging with your subscribers. So the first one is chat. Look at any internet survey, people who are using the internet today, they like chat. Many want to just go there, particularly if it's simple. I, you know, I got a question on my past, password, right? I don't need to go pick up the phone and make a phone call. And here's what's great, your support team doesn't have to pick up the phone call either, right? Because they can go, they can ask the basic questions, and that's the way people want to get a lot of their questions answered today. A whole new channel for service. The second one, which I know many of you are really ex excited to see, is the Field Service app. This is an app that's coming out in February that's going to change the game for your field service team. Why? Because it's going to enable them to do things like 
hey, I'm in the home, I need optimal placement for the Giga Spire. I wanna know if I need to add a mesh unit inside or outside the house. Hey, I need some insights because we're installing Arlo. It's gonna give you the capability to really understand what the experience is throughout the home. The second thing that it's gonna do is it's gonna allow your service technicians to do this. I'm gonna use my device. I'm not gonna have to ask the subscriber to give me their phone, right? That's something that not everyone wants to do. So you're gonna be able to go into this app, set up Command IQ, set up things like Content Control with Experience IQ, enable new services, turn people up, educate them, and press it a button and push that right to the subscriber. At the end of the day, it gives the power of upsell and enablement to your field service team. And the last thing is it's gonna allow you to very quickly and easily document the whole experience from birth certificate through trouble calls to someone else a couple years later showing up. It's all gonna be there for you. This is gonna be a huge enabler. It's gonna help your field services team leverage the power of Calix Cloud. Tremendous. So the best thing about the platform is it supports everything that you've seen today. All, all of these opportunities. A gigaspire in a home or a business or on a pole in a park looks the same to your support and operations team in operations cloud and service cloud. Got that right. So long story short, this is the power of the platform and it creates tremendous opportunity for you to go do all the new things you heard about today. You heard, Scott, two weeks, right? Whether that's turning up Smart Town in the stadium or deploying Bark. When you have a platform, you can move that quickly. It's a tremendous opportunity. But there are other opportunities as well. Michael shared this slide, and you know, it's a good point that you know, the legacy giants are seeing all this you know, funding as an opportunity to go into your markets. And you have to be aware of it. But I know you are. Why? Because in 10 or 20 years, when you're going to your grandkids football game, you aren't gonna see that. Why? Because all of you are gonna take giant steps. You're gonna follow Scott's example, and the brand that's gonna be on that stadium, it's going to be yours. And as Brad shared, a lot of our customers, they're building their moats. They're creating tremendous competitive barriers not leaving a door open for a legacy giant to come in and do what they always do, which is the race to the bottom. Speed, price, take it down, kill your margins. And I know you're all building your moats. Why? Because you all care. You all wanna take giant steps higher. How do I know? I've got the video evidence. Apparently they don't. <laughs>